There is a great event coming up and I cannot wait to tell you about it. We've talked about Festival in the Park and the QC Life programs before. Well, this spring, its sibling event is happening again. It's the King's Drive Art Walk. And soon visual artists and musicians are going to fill the Little Sugar Creek Greenway in Elizabeth for the 13th year. Mark Boone is here. He's the president of the board of directors of Festival in the Park. How are you, friend? I'm well, Kristen. Thanks for having me. I'm glad you're here. You have brought like literal sunshine <laughs> today. Um, it this is great. It is so beautiful and it's making me so happy. Tell me about this work that you brought today. Yeah, so Connie Adams is one of the nearly 100 artists who will be out in the Little Sugar Creek Greenway this weekend. Uh, metal work, obviously, with a southwestern Flair. Um, she was at Festival in the Park um, last September, did really well. So if you're interested in Connie's art, you better get out there early on Saturday on the Little Sugar Creek Greenway. Yeah, I mean, this stuff will go fast. Look how beautiful all of it is. Well done, Connie. That's fantastic. I love that you call this art walk the, the little sibling yes. of Festival in the Park. Festival in the Park is like the behemoth. Yes, we've been around since 1965. We launched this springtime event 13 years ago <coughs> um, out in the Elizabeth neighborhood to show off another wonderful Mecklenburg County Park and Rec space. Um, so we're not at Freedom Park as we are with Festival. We're in the Midtown neighborhood over near uh, the Metropolitan where yep. Trader Joe's is yes. uh, and uh, Carolina's Medical Center. So we have that greenway where Beautiful we line up a hundred different artists. You have metal work, you have woodworkers, you have jewelry, great gift for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. um, you have uh, paintings and photography, all types of art, plus acoustic mu musicians performing on the greenway as well. The greenway is absolutely beautiful. And I think if you don't live right in that area, you probably don't take advantage of it as That's much as true. you could. What a great space to do this. It really is. So if you're coming out, there's plenty of uh, street parking nearby. Mm -hmm. That would be my recommendation. Just to check out the neighborhoods around the Cherry neighborhood and Elizabeth near the hospital. Mm -hmm. That uh, exit the car and come come pay a visit. This year for the very first time, if you're interested, you can sip um, some wine, mm -hmm. have a beer as you wander up and down the greenway and peruse the art and listen to the musicians. And of course, there is <laughs> never any charge for admission. So this is a free event as well. We have so many artisans in our area. It must be very difficult to choose who will be able to exhibit and sell along the greenway. It really is. It's it's um, we have you know space for about 100 artists and we do turn artists away. So this mm -hmm. is really the best of the best. We have hundreds of applicants uh, for our events every year. Um, we do turn some away. Um, we have artists who are traveling as far away from as Indiana to wow. be here this weekend, mostly from across the Carolinas. And again, all types of art, all types of price points as well. What is your favorite thing about this sort of scaled down version? I know Festival in the Park, it's there's so much to it, yeah. but this one is a little more intimate, I think. It is. The festival has become such a behemoth. It's mm -hmm. a very, very large event from a operational perspective, very hard to pull off. Mm -hmm. um, this is easier to manage mm -hmm. and we're focused largely on fine art. Um, so festival has 200 plus artists. This is scaled down much, uh, much more selective um, as far as the applicants. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll find, again, all types of art, but certainly a lot easier for us to manage as an event. So hours of the event and kind of walk me through rain or shine. Absolutely. Rain or shine, for sure. Mm -hmm. 11 to 6 on Saturday, 11 to 5 on Sunday. So get out there early if you want to see um, this type of art before it's sold out. Yeah, and it will. I'm telling you, this will sell out. I am I'm just enamored with all of this. It's bringing such joy to the studio this morning. I think the cactus is my favorite over here on the right. It's really, really nice. It's so good. All right, let's put up all the information. If people want to check out the Art Walk, all of it right there, Kings Drive Art Walk. You can follow them on Instagram and Facebook as well. Mark, thanks for coming to see us. Thanks, thanks for so bringing much. all of this beautiful art. Absolutely. Oh, man, I know she's going to sell out fast. <laughs> Mary, which is your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Oh, it's I like the say. sun closest to you, I think. The, the sun this, and moon, that one with this, the star, yeah. This one? Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, too. Yeah. So many good ones. I know.